ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಶ ಪತಿತ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ವಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದುರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಬೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಾಮ ಕರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ಬಾಮಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಹೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे नैशांग मती स्ताब दुरु क्रमांग्री स्प्रिश्यत्त नर्थाप गम जदर्थो मही असाम पदर जो विसेखम निस्किन चनानम नब्रिनितो जाबत नैशांग मती स्ताब दुरु क्रमांग्री स्प्रिश्यत्त नर्थाप गम जदर्थो मही असाम पादर जो विसेखम निस्किन चनानम नब्रिनितो जाबत गौड़ियो गोष्ठी पोथी सीसी लवक्ति शिद्धांत और सरस्वती गोष्ठी में जाकर भोग भाग परमंशो जगत गुरु टोल दैट प्रिज्यूडो दीक्षा एन एटेनमेंट ऑफ तिब्बत ज्ञान नॉट सेम नॉट द सेम गौड़ियो गोष्ठी पोथी सीसी लवक्ति शिद्धांत और सरस्वती गोष्ठी में जाकर भोग भाग परमंशो जगत गुरु सेठ दे है that prejudo diksha, so-called diksha, and the attainment of the bhagyan, not the same. Attainment of the bhagyan is called actual diksha. So-called diksha is not actual diksha, because by the help of so-called diksha, you cannot get the Bhagyan and the definition of Diksha is the Bhagyan Yatu Dadyat Kuryat Papusha Sangshayam. This is the definition of Diksha. The Bhagyan Yatu Dadyat Kuryat Papusha Sangshayam. The procedure through which you can get the Bhagyan from a great divine personality, Guru Pat Padma, and whereas you are sincere, then it is possible. In that case, Dibhogyan you can get. And Dibhogyan means to develop your relationship with Bhagavan, to realize your own status, in which position you are now situated, and after that, you can discover your relationship with Bhagavan. I mean, Bhagavan. This is called actually the Bhagavan. So, we find so many people, they are taking, taking Diksha. We discover at present, so many people, they are taking, taking Diksha. But how many among them getting in the Bhagyan, that is the question. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to say, 150 years back, 150 years back, Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to say that at present nobody is going to consult Bhakti, Bhakti, Hari Bhakti Vilas, all instruction given by Sanatana Goswami Path, nobody like to follow. Bhakti used to be 150 years back. I can show you. In Upadesha Amrita commentary here, there are so many times Bhakti Muttagur wanted to express his concern about the future, I mean, at present situation, he could see from them. If they are not going to attend the Bhagyan, then they cannot get any right to, to serve Hari Guru Vaishnav. If they are not going to attain the Bhagyan, in that case they cannot get any right to serve Guru, Hari Guru Vaishnav. Not possible. Because Hari Guru Vaishnav, they are standing in such a realm. In this bonded condition, how I can reach that platform? If I cannot reach that platform, how I can serve? And Bhakti, Bhakto and Bhagavan, all they are staying in the same platform. I told you. Bhakti, Bhakto and Bhagavan, they are in the same platform, not up down. And if the Sevak is staying down, 
then you cannot reach that point. So, actual seva you cannot do. So, without attending the Bhogyan, nobody can get the right to serve Bigraha, Hari, Guru, Vaishnava. They cannot. Then what they can get? They can get nothing. But you say, Prabhupada speaking, yes, they can get, they can get some Sukriti only. Only they can get some Sukriti. And that Sukriti, if it is Bhaktin Mukhi Sukriti, is more practical. If that Sukriti, I mean some wrong thing done by you, something, in that case you can get Bhagavan Mukhi Sukriti. You can develop some mood of enjoyment and you can get also supply. Bhagavan can supply you. So this way, big problem will be there. Yesterday, after discussion, all those things, I was not feeling satisfaction. Repeatedly I was thinking that I am discussing all the things very clearly, but still people can misunderstand. They can think it is not necessary to take Diksha. I was thinking yesterday. So I thought it necessary to discuss all in details what is the what is the vichar of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. In this respect, I would say you that there was one big assembly in Midnapur, Bali Ghai Sambelan, where there was big fighting among Brahman and Vaishnavas. So, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was invited, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur could not go because of sickness, Leela. Prabhupada was sent there. He started speaking about Vaishnava and Brahman and their right respective position and about Pancharatrik Diksha through which all those Vaishya and you know, Shudra, Vaishya, Bra you know, Kshatriya, Brahman, they can get their quality, they can qualify someday to attend service. I mean, they can get the right to serve Hari Guru Vaishnava. And Sriman Mahaprabhu already told what is written in Srimad Bhagavaji Mahapurana. Mahaprabhu clearly told what is written in Srimad Bhagavaji Mahapurana and what is written in Pancharatra. Their opinion same. Mahaprabhu particularly wanted to point to speak this point. That what is written in Srimad Bhagavaji Mahapurana and what is written in Pancharatra, all same opinion. Mahaprabhu confirmed it. That's why Prabhupada wanted to follow Pancharatik Vidhan, which is more practical. Through Pancharatik Vidhan, we can, I mean, through Pancharatik Vidhan, Shudra, Vaishya, Kshatriya, Brahman, they can get you know, the chance through Pancharatik Vidhan, they can attain at least, it is called. Uh, Mm, Paramatrik Brahmanatta. Prabhupada wanted to establish this point that Mahaprabhu already confirmed it. Mahaprabhu already approved that Pancharatik Vidhan is a very scientific and it is same as what is the opinion of Srimad Bhagavad Mahaprabhu, all same. So, specially, Bhaktivinoda Thakur and uh, our Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, they wanted to follow this Pancharatik Vidam to, to get scope to everybody, all level of people, different level of people, they can get chance. And especially you can remember, before leaving body, Bhakti Thakur gave instruction to Prabhupada, you will have to establish Daiva Varnasram Dharma. You will have to implement 
Daivyavarna Samma, because those Vaishnavas, they are humiliated, they are insulted by those rascal, you know, those who are Brahman, I mean. So, you will have to establish to protect the interest of pure Vaishnavas. Sometime we can find Vaishnavas coming from Muslim family. Sometime Vaishnavas coming from Vaishya, Shudra, different families, different places. But why you are going to play your head? Why you are going to play your head on this point that where from they are coming? They are coming from Vaishya family or Shudra family or Khatri. You should not do it, no? You should not do it. Because Paramatthik Brahmanatta is totally separate thing. And Varnasam Dharma, you can follow. How long you can follow? How long you can follow Varnasam Dharma? You can follow Varnasam Dharma when you can follow up to that point. When you are within the category of this, uh, you know, this material world, I mean in connection with, then you can follow. If you are elevated to Paramahansa level, if you are automatically elevated to Paramahansa level, in that case you need not follow Varnasam Dharma. Need not follow money, you cannot break the whole system of the society. Need not follow, I don't mean, that you will have to break all the system here. You need not follow. If you are elevated to Paramahansa level, in that case, okay, you, you are free to, uh, to serve Bhagavan according to your... So you need not follow the strict rules and regulations laid down in Varnasam Dharma. Up to that point, you can follow Varnasam Dharma. And one mistake we are doing, we are always thinking from which family, which country, who is coming, when, we are thinking. But we forget that Bhagavad Dharma is a Dharma of Atma, not body. We forget this point. Practically, we forget. We can speak in lecture, but you forget this point that Bhagavad Dharma is the Dharma of Atma, not the Dharma of body. Follow. Bhagavad Dharma is the Dharma of Atma, not Dharma of body. So, the Smartha, Brahman and this vast society, they are in favor of Smartha rules and regulations. So, naturally they are feeling some allergy, feeling some reaction. When Vaishnavas are getting honor and position in the society as the great exalted devotees, but they cannot be a, so they started fighting to prove that Vaishnavas are all useless. They are nothing. So, Prabhupada was sent by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda blessed him, you go, you can establish. In there it was established that Vaishnavism is the topmost thing. Brahmanism is the preliminary step. I mean, after you are getting scarred, after you are getting scarred, you are ordered, you are requested, you are giving advice to follow some rules and regulations perfectly as per Pancharatik Vidhan, so that uh, in near future, at least you can attain the stage of Brahmanism. Follow what I say. Not that after getting scarred, I am Brahman. You can start fighting with everybody. Not that. You are given advice that we are going to allow you to go ahead in the way of bhajan, but first of all, the first stage you will have to attend. After taking this very carefully, all rules and regulation or purity you should maintain, so that at least you can attain the platform of Paramatthik Brahmanism. 
Paramarthik Brahmanism. Paramarthik Brahmanism. So that you can get the right to worship Shalgram, everything. Because in Shastra it is written, those who are initiated in Vishnu Mantra, they can get the right to serve Shalagram, everything. But here one point is that, those who are getting so-called Diksha, not actual Diksha, who was not going to attend that platform, not maintaining purity, how they can be allowed. That's why Guru Padmanda used to point out some sloka in Hari Bhakti Vila, those who are in Shudra, Mane, Shudra means they are initiated, but still they are with dirty qualities inside, all dirty. Externally, they are initiated fully. It is written, Salgram speaking, Salgram Bhagavan speaking, if they are going to touch me, I feel somebody going to stab me with knife. If the Shudra, dirty character people, when they are going to touch me, Salgram speaking, I think they are going to stab me with knife, sharp knife, Salgram speaking. Follow. Whereas there is different kind of opinion going on, but we are less interested about who is going to pass what opinion. We are going to follow our Guru Varga, our Gaudiya Siddhanta. That is more practical for us. One thing I would like to say, you can remember, you can remember that Prabhupada wanted to wanted to show us uh, the harmony, reconciliation between Mantra Parampara and Bhagavad Parampara. I can come to the original point, why I am going to discuss all these things. Then you can understand why I am discussing. So, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Tagore Prabhupada, he wanted to, wanted to show us the total harmony between Manta Parampara and Bhagavad Parampara. So, Krishna Hite Chatur Mukh, Hai Krishna Sevan Mukh, Brahma Hite Narodero Muti, Narodho Hite Vyas Madhukaya Vyasudasu, Purnabhoga Padyanabhoga, this way we are going. After that, in between we find Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahayana, Rupanuga Janero Jivan, Rupapya Mahajana, Jivarugu Nathohana, Tarpiya Kavi Krishna Dha this way we are. Rup Sanatan, Rup, eh? Rup Sanatan, after that Jeeva, this way we are coming. This way we are coming. After that, Narottam Thakur, Adi, everything we are going to find. Now, in our own Sampradaya, in our, what to speak about outside people, in our own Sampradaya, some demons are there. Of course, they are not in our Sampradaya, they uh, they confirm they are in the, but they are not in our sampradaya. They always wanted to disprove it. They don't like to follow this procedure. They are putting different kind of questions. But point is that, Mantra Parampara and Bhagavad Parampara, what Prabhupada told, 100% scientific, because Manto Parampara always not successful. Any Guru Parampara, if you can go and search, any Guru Parampara, you go and search, you can find, in between there is some breakage. Breakage because they are not going to follow Guru Padmanam perfectly, they are going to get deviated from the track, or some of them fall down, Deviated from the track means fall down. I know they cannot, uh, they cannot bear this word, but it is true. Because it is not my conception. It is the conception of Prabhupada, Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada. Prabhupada told, slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Padma, slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Padma can make you fall down. So I am not speaking, I, who am I to pass any Siddhanta Vichara? What Prabhupada told them speaking. So, you cannot show any mantra parampara where there is no breakage, nothing, nothing, no problem at all. 
there is some breakage, some deviation. They are going to accept the teachings of Guru Padma the wrong way. This is happening all the time. In 11th country also Bhagavan speaking this way. 11th country Bhagavan also speaking this way. Some of them following perfectly Guru Padma, some of them deviated, they become heartless. Evam param parjena kasanchit, kasachit, but I forget, I always speak, anyway I can remember. So, some of them following Guru Padma properly, some of them deviated from Guru Padma. So, what is the purpose of Mantra Parampara? You will have to realize what is the purpose of Mantra Parampara. What is the actual target of this Mantra Parampara? The actual target of Mantra Parampara is to help you to establish in this platform of Bhagavad Parampara. Try to understand. Mantra Parampara can help you to get established in Bhagavad Parampara. Bhagavad Parampara doesn't mean Mantra Parampara, but Mantra Parampara surely means Bhagavad Parampara. If not so, then in that Mantra Parampara is useless. If you follow me. Bhagavad Parampara, Bhagavad Parampara doesn't mean there is Mantra Parampara. But Mantra Parampara surely means Bhagavad Parampara. If not so, then who is going to take Diksha from you, Maharaj? I don't like to take Diksha. What I can do by taking Diksha? Mantra Parampara. If Mantra Parampara is not going to help me to get established in Bhagavad Parampara, because what I need? I need to get established in Bhagavad Parampara. I need to serve Bhagavan. What Mantra Parampara can help? Hello. This point you should realize fast. This point you should realize fast. So Prabhupada wanted to show us that Mantra Parampara and Bhagavad Parampara are going to reconcile and somebody can put question, why Narottama Thakur you are going to accept? Whereas Narottama Srinivas Achajyo, Ramchandu, Shamananda Prabhu, they are all the same group. Why you are going to take ni only Nautamadaku? You are foolish. You are foolish, that's why you are going to fight. But you should realize by accepting Nautamadaku, we are going to approve both Samananda Prabhu and Srinivas all. Especially Nautamadaku accepted because Nautamadaku is coming from Nityananda Prabhu. Nautamadhaku is specially coming from Nityananda Prabhu. So, so what wrong in it? See, if Nautamadhaku is accepted in the group, that doesn't mean we are going to ignore, uh, we are going to ignore Srinivas Acharya, uh, you know, this is not that. This is the approval, but people misunderstand. Follow this way. So, our, we are taking mantra, and we have seen even after taking mantra, even after taking mantra from right personality, suppose he is Sadguru, after 40 years, still he is not developing the Bhogyan. How is that possible? Ha, thousands of such examples I can see. Not one. Thousands of such examples I can see. So you. That they are not developing the Bhogyan. I mean, not actual relationship with Bhagavan. Because maybe there was duplicity in them, so they couldn't get that, get that power, that there's big problem. So we cannot 100% trust on mantra parampara if there is any breakage. We cannot accept. In that case, you will have to take a turn and accept Bhagavad Parampara. That is the procedure shown by Srila Prabhupada. Procedure shown by Srila Prabhupada. 
So, Bhagavad Dharma is the Dharma of your soul. So, why you are going to speak is coming from America, German, and Australia, why you are speaking this? Because Bhagavad Dharma is the Dharma of Atma. So, you should not pass this kind of judgment. Only we will have to see what is the grade of the devotee. Because the instruction of our Guru Bharga, without understanding his position, if you are going to give some maltreatment, then you can fall down. Same thing Narthamudha Guru told, na? Same thing Narthamudha Guru told, Je Jatha Vaishnav Chiniya Loiya Adaru Kori Vajave, Bengali. Je Jatha Vaishnav Chiniya Loiya Adaru Kori Vajave, Vaishnav Vaira Kipa Jahe Sarva Siddhi Avasya Lobi Vatave, Bengali. Nathamudha Guru is going to speak this way, that according to the gradation of Vaishnav, if you are going to give the same treatment to one Kanishtha devotee and one great exalted devotee, or you are going to insult that great exalted devotee simply because he has no name, fame, position, not going to foreign trip, simply you want to insult him. Or you are going to give honor to that devotee because he has lot of money, billions of dollars, position, temple, so. But North Mutagut is speaking, this way you should not think. If you are going to calculate this way, then you can get lost in, in, in this material world. Be careful what I say. So, you will have to think about the grade of Vaishnava. Bhakti Mutagut speaking, I can show you, if you like to see, where it is, I can show you all writing. Bhakti Mataka speaking, at present, at present, nobody going to think about the grade of Vaishnava. Bhakti Mataka speaking. Now, this kind of judgment, who is up and down, this is all over. Ah, they are going to kick out. Bhakti Mataka speaking. At present, there is no such, you know, bichar about the quality of Vaishnava, in which situation, he is now put into. Nobody going to care. This way, there is no improvement. And I also told two days ago, lack of satsanga going to put us in hell. Day by day, there is lack of satsanga. No lack of money. No lack of building property. And no lack. Nothing lack. But only lack of satsanga going to throw us into hell. There is a situation. So now, I can come to the point, why I am going to all discuss all those points. Because yesterday, when I started discussing about the absolute glorification of satsanga, I was thinking, they can, uh, they can misunderstand, they can think, well, we can do satsanga, no need of taking diksha. They can think, so I took decision yesterday night, I can discuss all in details. Actually, Diksha is 100% we need. 100%. All different scriptural evidence I can show you, where it is confirmed that Diksha is a must. Without Diksha, not possible. Without Diksha, not possible. And our Guru Varga, Gauriya Guru Varga, like, you know, our uh, Raghunath Das Goswami also write, or Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Hari Bhakti Vilas, you can find everywhere, everywhere it is written, Diksha is a must. Because common people, so long as they are not going to meet with pure Guru Vaishnava, the, your chapter is closed. Your chapter, your devotional chapter is closed. If you can get the chance to meet with one pure devotee and going to get dust particle from the lotus feet of the devotee, then and only then your dirty brain can be rectified. There is no other way. Naishang Mati Stavat Urukramangin Speciati. You cannot transcend your mind, your capacity. I mean, the, you cannot transcend this maya, penetrate, and cannot touch that Bhagavan, the lotus feet of Bhagavan, not possible. Your mind, your intellect, 
is confined with this material world, cannot penetrate. So, so much importance given about the Uchishta of Vaishnavas, the water was of the lotus feet of Vaishnavas, and the dust particle from the lotus feet of Vaishnavas. So much importance given. Because to rectify your brain is very important. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, those are the topmost life-saving medicine. Life means spiritual life-saving. You are alive, you know, you are not dead body. But it is life-saving medicine. Dust particle from the lotus feet of Vaishnavas, water was of the lotus feet of Vaishnavas, uchistas, thin shadoner ball. Follow. So, so long as you are not going to, you know, uh, uh, do Abhishek by the dust particle from the Lord of Sira Vaishnavas, your Naishang Mati Stavat Urukramang is Prishati. Follow. Naishang Mati Stavat Urukramang is Prishatanarthapagamo Jadartho Mahi Asam Padarajo Visekam Niskinchananam no brinito yavat. Actually, anartha, we are full of anartha. We are full of anartha. So, to cut anartha, sadhu sangha is very important. And yesterday, according to the discussion of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, we have seen that sadhu sangha itself very, very potential medicine. Itself, Sadhu Sangha is so powerful, itself alone. So powerful, it can, it can serve all the purpose. And all the procedures of bhajan you are supposed to take. But all you can take everything through actual Sadhu Sangha. But that doesn't mean you need not take Diksha. That is some exclusive cases. Some most exclusive cases are I mean, satsanga is so important, Bhagavan wanted to say. So, when you are going to discuss about Prahlad Maharaj, we find uh, Prahlad Maharaj has not, not taken any mantra diksha from anybody. Has taken any mantra diksha? No. Only he was successful to attain the Bhagyan by hearing all Bhagavad Tattva began when he was inside the womb of mother. Womb of mother. So, inside the womb of mother, hearing Bhagavad Katha, so he is going to accept Naraji Maharaj as his guru. Because Manto Parampara, if not going to help you to get established in Bhagavad Parampara, and this Bhagavad Parampara not going to establish in your Nityanal Seva, so what is the utility? Bhagavad Parampara means you are successful, you are having the chance to serve Bhagavan, Bhagavad Parampara. Bhagavad Parampara. Na? So all Srimad Bhagavadji Mahapuran going to give us this Dibba Gyan, I mean whole Bhagavadji Mahapuran going to, ultimately going to give us the Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, which is no less than Mantra Diksha. Try to understand. Whenever you are, Shukdev Goswami speaking Bhagavad Katha, I mean when Parikhit Maharaj hearing total Bhagavad, full, full attention, absorbingly, even it is written, he is less interested to go to drink water and take a rest. Because in between, I mean after nine came to over, Shukdev Goswami wanted to suggest him, Oh Rajan, you are feeling tired I think, you can take some rest and take some water everything after. No! Parikhid Mahaja, no! I am not tired. I am not feeling tired. I am drinking Amrita. I am drinking Amrita, Bhagavad Katha Amrita. So I am not feeling tired. I am not feeling 
tired, I am not feeling thirsty, so you don't stop Bhagavad Katha. So you see the tenacity, you see the craving mood of Parikhit Maharaj. Pivantam tan mukham bhajam harikatham mitam. Piva, I am drinking Bhagavad Amrita. And that hungry attitude, thrust, no, nothing there. I am drinking. So, do you think, after hearing total Bhagavatam, do you think Parikit Maharaj, he will have to take Dikha again? Do you think so? After hearing Bhagavatam, everything totally from Sukhdev Goswami and Sukhdev Goswami before going, blessing him, blessing him. And do you think that still now Parikhit Maharaj will have to approach some Guru and take Diksha? What is your adversity? What kind of adversity you are expressing? See, you don't understand what you mean by Diksha. That is this kind of argument coming. Where from this kind of argument can come? Where is very clear line mathematics. After hearing Bhagavatam, Parikhit Maharaj getting the total knowledge of Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan. Otherwise, how it was possible for him to speak all in details about what he heard from Sukhadev Guru Padma and speak in front of his own mother Uttara in the form of Bhyad Bhagavatam Ritu. That is my question to you. That is my question to you. How it was possible for, for Parikhit Maharaj to speak all in details about the gist, I mean in applied form, Bhagavad Gita How possible? In front of Uttara, Brihad Bhagavatam is speaking. So that's when Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, if somebody is going to hear from on Mahabhagavat, from Mahabhagavat, like Parikhid Maharaj, you can play one drama, I have heard Bhagavatam, so I need not Diksha. It's kapat. So at present, this kind of quality is almost rare. So we cannot take decision that I can hear Harikatha from him. Okay, my Diksha is over, I need not. You cannot say. You cannot say you have no right because at present Kalikal, dangerous. Contamination in all, everywhere, in all nervous system, everywhere there is contamination. Contamination in all neurological system. Contamination flowing. In this case, you have no right to speak, I cannot take Diksha. So, Diksha is a must. Goro Goste Gosta Lay Subhujane Bhu Suragane Shamante Shinamani. This mantra, Raghunath Das Gosai speaking, you will have to take Diksha. Sonatan Gosai giving so many documents, you have to take Diksha. But, Actual Diksha you will have to take, not so-called Diksha. Gayatri Mantra, you are getting Gayatri Mantra. The name of Gayatri Mantra, what is the meaning of Gayatri Mantra? What is the meaning of Gayatri Mantra? The meaning of Gayatri Mantra is that, by singing this song, by singing this song, I can cut Maya. Gayatri, by singing, Gayatri means Trayate, Tran, Tran, Tran means rescue. Tran, Tran means rescue. I can get rescue from the trap of Maya. I challenge you. If you are initiated by your Guru Path Padma perfectly, I speak you. You do Gayatri Mandi in the morning before sunrise. Do for one month after you report me. But I know you cannot do with full attention. I know you cannot do with full attention. That kind of maintain, you have to maintain purity, everything. And if you do, you can see how enormous power coming. But at present, people are not going to pay attention everything. All lava, puja, patishta going to destroy the whole system. Destroy the whole system, whole system, almost destroys. In between something can be there. 
but almost everything gone. All the vitals of our bhajan line almost gone. So now you can understand that after hearing Srimad Bhagavad Mahapran with full attention, with the craving mood, because when you can realize that you are going to die tomorrow morning, then naturally you can concentrate on the Lord of Sri Bhagavan. Who can save me? Who can save me? Parikhit Maharaj was given seven days notice, pre-notice. So Parikhit Maharaj was given a seven days notice that within seven days we will have to arrange your solve, find solution. But in your life, my life, there is not even a fraction of second guarantee. You are not thinking about it. Parikhit Maharaj was given at least seven days time. So within seven days he try to find a solution. But in your life, my life, there is no guarantee of one second when we can go away. But still we are going to run rigs, running rigs with Maya. Still we are not interested. We are getting golden opportunity. We are getting golden opportunity in our heart. And we are going to kick out. And Bhagavad Gita is written. When we are going to get Amla, Amla, you know, Amla ki? Amla ki is a mother fruit. You are, in Bhagavatam reading, you are getting Amla fruit in your hands, which can give you life, but you are going to kick out. So what we can do? You yourself not sincere to get absolute truth. That is your fault. You cannot blame the Prabhupada. You cannot blame Bhakti Thakur. We are responsible for that, this kind of situation. So, this is the answer that you will have to take Diksha. Very rare. If somebody getting this kind of association and but this kind of satsanga, if they can cut all material bondage, everything and go high, is a rare case. We cannot wait for that. But usually this Diksha procedure okay. You will have to take Harinam, Diksha, everything, chant every day three times and go on, go on doing Harinam gradually. You can get this. Bhakti Mahatma also told, when we can get such a devotee who is having 100% faith in Harinam, then this kind of strong faith in Harinam itself, Harinam it itself Hari. It is common sense. There is no wrong Siddhanta. If you misunderstand, there is different. Harinam itself is complete because Harinam is Hari. If I am getting Harinam from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami or Bhakti Puri Goswami, so it is Hari. They are giving Hari in the form of mantra. In the, in the form of Mahamantra, in the form of Mahamantra, they are going to give Hari to me, Bhagavan to me. They are giving, giving Hari, Hari, direct Bhagavan, but I cannot realize because of my position, I cannot realize. You can realize long days ago, I told one incident in Chaitanya Mahat, some small devotees, they are discussing among themselves. In the noon time, under a tree sitting, everybody is took a tree. There are some of them asking, well, we have taken Harinam from Prabhupada and 100% Prabhupada is the eternal person of Bhagavan. But why we are not uh, feeling anything? They among themselves is took a tree. Small devotees, 15 years, 20, uh, no, 14 years, all small devotees. Noon time, they are discussing. How possible? We have taken Diksha from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So, Saraswati Chakur is the eternal person of Bhagavan. So, surely we are very, we have faith. We know that we have taken Harina, but we are not feeling anything. By chanting, we must feel something, but not feeling. Then, Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj was passing that way. He was very expressing curiosity. What discuss and going on? Nothing, nothing. Ah, oh, I am also your god-brother. I have 
I have the right to hear what you are discussing. Why not you speak? Maybe I can help you. Then all small devotees, they are discussing. We are discussing actually. We have taken Harinam from Prabhupada. It's very powerful. We are not feeling anything, uh, anything inside us. We are doing everything. Then Bhakti Mahik Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj started speaking. Started speaking, giving one example. When one small baby, two years, three years, four years, and father, mother going away from this world. Suppose one small baby and father, mother gone from this world. But father, mother having huge amount of property and is the only son. But if, if our society going to speak, I mean, if the court going to give all property to the small boy, he can say, I need biscuit and lodging. What I can do with this? Because no utility, no? A small boy. If you're going to give the, all the papers, legal paper to the small boy, what is this? He can throw. I like to get some lemon juice, ice cream, or this very utility. Nice. Similarly, our Bhakti Mahik Bhagavad Goswami is speaking. You are really given this property. You are through Harinam. Through Harinam, surely, through Harinam, surely, you are going to get Krishna. Because Prabhupada is going to speak, in, you know, in the form of Shabda Brahma, Prabhupada give to you. But you cannot realize because you are infant, very small boy. When you can get maturity, 18 years of old, then court can come, I mean, some company there, their property dealer. They are called property dealer, some company, like Talbot company, Talbot. When the infant or nobody there, no leader, they are going to take control of that property and they are taking some monthly salary, remuneration, excisable amount of money, because they are taking care of this property. It's property dealer, big, big company there. They are dealing with this property. So when the boy, can reach 18 years of old, then surely that company can come and hand over all the papers, legal papers to him. Now you can take care because your father and mother left a huge amount of property. This is the same example. Harinam itself complete, there is no doubt should be there. If there is any doubt, you can do aparat. That doesn't mean I can take only Harinam, I cannot take Diksha, I am not speaking that. What I mean to say, Harinam itself is complete, complete, complete. By Harinam, Mahaprabhu many times told, by Harinam you can get Krishna Prema. Only by chanting Harinam. You can get Krishna Prema which is rare. You need not take Diksha, but you need to take Diksha. I wrote one book, tomorrow I can bring you, I, I compiled one book 12-14 uh, years back, by Shahajiya Tumiki Gauriya, Bengali. Four different parts, first part, second part, third part, fourth part. I can bring tomorrow and from there I can show you what is important, so important things written there. I can show you tomorrow. So important things. So. Harinam really itself complete, but this kind of personality really rare on this art at present. Who can really feel Harinam I get, it is all complete. And through each and every Harinam, he can meet with Hari. To do Harinam and to meet with Hari is the same. If this kind of quality is there in him, then what he can do by taking Diksha? My question. If he is having 100% faith in Harinam, 100% faith in Harinam, he is doing Harinam and going to meet with Hari. In that case, what is the utility of his taking Diksha? What Diksha can do? He is going to get Krishna Prema, no? There is no such documents we find that Haridas Thakur is initiated by somebody. There is no Haridas Thakur by Harinam, 100% going to show us. But that doesn't mean we can avoid taking Diksha, 
all usual, I mean, uh, gradual promotional procedure, we will have to follow. We will have to follow that procedure. Adho Shadhyā Tataha Sadhu Sangha Atha Bhajana Kriya Atha Anatha Nibriti Swad Atha Nishtha Ruchis Tataha Atha Shakti Tataha Bhavaha This you will have to follow, which is prescribed in Harivak, in Rasamrita Sindhu by Rupa Goswami you will have to follow. No other way. No other way. You will, you will have to follow. Adho Ushadhyā, Tato Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha also, preliminary Sadhu Sangha and actual Sadhu Sangha, preliminary Sadhu Sangha, actual Sadhu Sangha. Even after taking Diksha, also Sadhu Sangha. And by Sadhu Sangha, you can feel it necessary to take Diksha. These are the, these all are, these all are the general procedure. Adho Ushadhyā, you can develop faith in sadhu speaking. Oh, it's okay. A shastra, okay. After that, adoshadha at all some basic sadhya. Basic sadhya can give you inspiration. Sadhu sangha, preliminary. Preliminary sadhu sangha can back you, can help you, and you can feel uh, you can feel inspiration to the, to, to take diksha from one elevated personality, sadguru. And after taking diksha, also you can do bhajan. So, before taking diksha, satsanga, before taking diksha, satsanga is there. After taking diksha, also satsanga. Even after leaving this material world in Siddha, Vastu Siddhi, we are going to the eternal world. There also satsanga. So, what do you mean? Satsanga all the way. Not that now satsanga I can live. No. Satsanga is so important from the beginning up to end, not end. Even when you reach that Golok Vrindavan, there also satsanga. Satsanga is a must. So important thing. Satsanga you cannot have. So, usual procedure you will have to follow. You cannot break the rules and regulation. Oh, it is written satsanga. This is you cannot do. So, Adho Ushadhyā, after that, preliminary Sadhu Sangha, after that, taking Diksha, after that, also Satsangha. As Satsangha, through Satsangha, I mean, Gurudev also giving you an association, all Vaishnavas. After that, you can make some development in your bhajan. Bhajana Kriya, fast. Fast Bhajana Kriya. Bhajana Kriya period is over. Now you develop strong faith in Nam, Mantra, everything, Sadhu Bhajan. Then you can cut all anartha, then you can step into, into sadhan bhakti. And sadhan bhakti means that is the approval. Mani, your approval of bhajan is from sadhan bhakti. From sadhan bhakti you are getting approval. No, you are not doing bhajan. Okay. Before that, no. Your bhajan is here, try. And that Sadhan Bhakti can help you. Anatha Nibriti Sat, Nishtha Ruchis Tata, Atha Sakti Tata Bhava. After that, Bhava Prema, finally. So, this is the usual procedure. But sometimes it can happen so, miracle. By Satsanga, you need not follow all those usual procedures. And how we don't know, you are getting all, you know, big power inside you to love Bhagavan, Krishna Prema. How is that possible? This is called satsanga. Miracles of satsanga. And on the basis of this point, in Chaitanya Chaitamiti it is written that Labamatta Sadhu Sangesh Sarvasiddhi Hai. On the basis of this point, what I clarify you for a long time. On the basis of this point, it is written that Labamatta Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhi Hoy, Labamatta Sadhu Sangha, it is approved. It is approved, is the evidence there. But in our, in general, it is very rare. It is true. It is true, Labamatta Sadhu Sangha, if genuine Sadhu Sangha, can change the whole, change the whole history of your life, total. But it's rare. 
So usually we will have to, in general, we, we will have to follow all the procedure laid down in Hari Bhakti Vilas. In Rasamrita Dasindu, we are bound to follow. We are bound to follow. We cannot ignore. So now I can come to the point. So the Parikhit Maharaj, so about Parikhit Maharaj, you have no scope to fight with Parikhit Maharaj. You are not, you are not initiated. You are initiated. Papa speaking, he developed hundred hundred percent the Bhagyan. And Bas is Sarup Siddhi was there. By hearing Harikatha, Sarup Siddhi was there. So what else you need? By Diksha also, finally, what is the target of Diksha? To help you to attend Sarup Siddhi. But you are not getting. So those who are taking Diksha for 40 years, 50 years, but still they are not getting Dibba Gyan, Sarup Siddhi. So what is the utility of Diksha? What is the utility of, the, of their Diksha? They are not getting. They are going aparad, offense. Whereas this, we find Bhagavad Parampara, if somebody gets into satsanga, satsanga can jump, can cross over this. It happens so. Sometimes it is a miracle it's happening. So, we find that Prahlad Maharaj actually not initiated by anybody, but really initiated. Through Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. So, Prahlad Maharaj is getting Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan by hearing all Bhagavad Tattva, Bhagavad Katha from Naraji Maharaj. That is the reason for why Shangbhur, Narada, Sambhu, Kumar, Kapilo, Manu, Prahlad, Vishmo, Janako, eh? Balir, Vaya, Sakir, Vayam, Dado Saite Vijanimo Dharvam Bhagavatam Bhatta Guiham Vishuddham Durvadyam Yad Gyatya Amrit Mashrute Why it? Approved, na? It is totally approved. That those are Mahajan, great. They are great Mahajan. Then, also, Shri Vishnu Sabane Parikshit Abhavad Bhaiyasa Kikirtane Is all Kishan? Prahlad Smarane, eh? Prithu, eh, I mean Lakshmi, Padasevane, Prithu Pujane. This all the routine, they all are, all, all of them are respectively, respectively all of them. I mean, each of them are the Acharya of each fold of Bhakti. Like the Parikhit Maharaj is the topmost Acharya in the field of Sravan. Shukdev Goswami is the topmost Acharya in the way of in a Kirtan Akha Bhakti. Shukdev Goswami, a Parikhit Maharaj is Sravan Akha Bhakti. Shukdev Goswami is Sravan Akha, uh, uh, Kirtan Akha Bhakti. Pallad Maharaj is Smaran Akha Bhakti. This way. Prithu, Pujan, Lakshmi, Padras, all their Acharya. So, where, where is the doubt inside you? I don't know. So, this is the reason for why I thought it necessary to discuss all in details about. So, there is no question of any doubt what Bhagavan speaking. What Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav, it is 100% perfect. One by one, I started explaining that how Vrittasur, he was Chitta Ketu Raja, how he was successful to get mantra. We know. We know it. So, surely there was satsanga in their life. Satsanga was there in their life. Chitta Ketu, Naraji Maharaj, Angira, this what satsanga, he got Tattva Gyan. So, also he got all final thing from Sankarsan also. So, there is no shortage of diksha. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna was 100% perfect. He is speaking all. Really so. But at present, this situation is so kind. Of, we cannot expect this kind of thing. So, it's true. Bhagavan speaking, Sat sangenahi daityaya jatudhana migakhagaha 
Gandharva Apsaraso Nagaha Siddhyas Charano Gujya Kaha Vidyadharaha Vidyadharaha Manasesu Vaishaha Shudraha Sriyo Antayaha Rajasthamo Prakratayu Tasmin Tasmin Yuge Yuge What speaking? What Krishna speaking? Satsangi Nahi Daitya Jatu Dhana Migas Khaga Gandharva Apsaraso Nagaha Siddhyas Charano Gujya Kaha Vidya Dhara Manusse Suvesha Sudraha Striyo Antayaha Rajastrama Prakatayo Tasmin Tasmin Juge Anagha He Anagha You are free of any sin. You are totally pure. That's why Anagha Uddhav is true. Bahabho Matpadam Prapta Trashto Kaya Dhavadayo Vishaparava Bali Balirvano Mayaschato Vivishanaha Sugriva Hanuman Riksho Gajo Griddho Banikopata Vyadaha Kubja Brajegopo Jogopatna Stathapare Tena Dhita Sutigana No Pasita Mahatta Maha Abrata Tapta Tapasa Shatsangyat Mam Upagata Bhagavan speaking They have not they never gone to Gurukul. They never gone through Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, nothing. They never gone. They never took any brata in their life. Nothing. They never served any exalted personalities. They never served. But still, they are successful by satsanga, by satsanga, they are successful to reach my lotus feet. Bahavo mat padam prapta trashto kaya dhavadayu. Yesterday I also discussed trashta nandan, trashta randan, trashta nandan, like kunti, kuntiyo, trashta, you know, it is written mat padam trashto. Trashtanandan Trashto. Kunti Kanteyo. The name of Arjun is Kanteyo. Because he is going to relate with the name of mother. So, the father of Vrittasur is Trashta. So, his name. He was successful to get my lotus feet. Of course, there is some. After that, I can discuss. They are the, not all same. Gopikas, they are attending the lotus feet and Trashto, Prahlad, they are attending, not same. That I can discuss after. But in general, I am speaking, Bhagavan speaking, Bahavo Mat Padam Prapta, Trashto Kaya Dhavadayo, Vishwaparva, Vishwaparva, you know, son of Prahlad Maharaj, he was thrown into forest by mother due to some reason. After birth, he was thrown into forest. Follow. Sometimes it happens so. Some mother are going to throw baby. In Chaitanya Gurima at Calcutta, suddenly one mother going to throw baby and running away. Temple people, they saw as very... So it happens so sometimes. They are abandoned by mother. It's happened. So, Brisaparva was thrown into forest by mother and their Rishi Manis, they discovered, where from this small boy coming? Oh my God! They are going to, because they are merciful, they are going to take care of the boy. So, by the association of those Rishi, Rishi Manis, he has developing bhakti. He was thrown by mother in forest. So, this way, Brisaparva, and regarding Pallad Maharaj, I already know. Though Pallad Maharaj was sent to Gurukul, but Pallad Maharaj never accepted those, you know, those people as Guru. Shondo Amarko. Pallad Maharaj in his whole life never wanted to accept them as Guru. Never. But he accepted Naraji Maharaj as Guru. He accepted Naraji Maharaj as Guru in his life. So, he was successful. So, Vishwaparva, now question coming, Boli. 
Bali Maharaj, where from he took Diksha Maharaj? Where from he took Diksha? Where from he took Diksha? No, we don't find anywhere. Because it is the possibility that he has taken Diksha from Sukracharya. Because Sukracharya is there uh, in, in Asura destiny. Sukracharya is Guru. So there is every possibility he has taken Diksha from Sukracharya. Why not? But we find he never wanted to accept Sukracharya as his Guru. He never accepted Sukracharya as his Guru. Otherwise, how it was possible for Pralad, how it was possible for Bali Maharaj to ignore the instruction of Sukracharya? Whenever Sukracharya is speaking, Hey, be careful! Is Vishnu is coming in the form of Baman? Coming in the form of Baman Dev. Coming in the form of Bamandev, but is Vishnu? Is Vishnu? You see? Is Vishnu? So don't give in the guise of Baman, short man. Vishnu coming. Don't give. He's going to take everything. But the instruction of Guru, instruction of Guru, but Bali Maharaj is not going to pay attention. Bali Maharaj was supposed to give donation, three footsteps of land, by taking water in hand. In that case, Gurudev Sukra Sukraja said, Don't do it! It's Vishnu, Esha, Vishnu, Rabba, Yaha. If you are going to give everything, he can take everything. And after that, how you can lead your life? He's going to give caution. Hey, foolish! You are ready to give donation? If you give everything, you can take everything. Then how you can lead your life? But Bali Maharaj is not going to pay any attention. Bali Maharaj is not going to pay any attention to the order of Sukracharya. On the contrary, he is speaking, so long I thought, so long as I was thinking, there is only small Brahman. So I was supposed to give them. Now you are now you are going to confirm there is Vishnu. Bali Maharaj speaking, so long I was thinking one small Brahman coming, I can give donation. But now you confirm there is Vishnu, then hundred, hundred percent I can give donation. Because all donation should be given to Vishnu, na? But, ah, Jaggo Vai Vishnu, Sarva Dharma Mulam Hi Vishnu. So why not? So he was not obedient. Then, Sukraja Jo curse him. Okay, you are going to ignore me. So you can be displaced from your all Sri. You can get, get displaced from your Sri. All everything can go your life. Curse you. Huh? Okay, you curse me. But anyway, I'm going to give if it is Vishnu, Parakpara Kilesha, then hundred percent I can give. So long I was thinking it's Brahman. Okay. But now we confirm it's Vishnu. Then hundred percent I can give. Because donation should be given to Vishnu. Eh? This is the result. Eh? This is the Shastra. Then question can come. Where from this kind of pure knowledge Bali Maharaj getting? The question can come. This question can come. Now question can come. Where from? Where from? Where from? Where from Bali Maharaj getting this kind of this kind of Siddhanta Vichar? Where from? Where from he where from he got? So that his name is counted in Dadas Mahajan. The name of Bali Maharaj, every morning we are speaking, speaking Dadas Mahajan. So I am also thinking of Bali Maharaj ki jai ho. Then why? He is demon? But no demon, demon okay. I told them and started that Bhagavad Dharma is the property of your Atma. Why you are thinking is demon, is witch, is you know? No. It is the it is the identity of your body. He is Muslim, he is this, he is this, Buddhi. No. 
Bhagavad Dharma is the property of your Atma. Then you are going to, why you are going to pass this kind of remark? So, we see, Bali Maharaj going to give full attention to the instruction, I mean advice, I mean Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, what he received from his grandfather, or his grandfather, Pallad Maharaj. So, surely Pallad Maharaj is not going to give initiation. You have no such document. Pallad Maharaj is surely not giving, going to give, give not given, not given mantra, no, only my association. Oh, my grandson and speaking, teaching, that association was more than enough. So his name we count in Bhagavad Parampara. Shangur, Narudu, Sambhu, Pula, Pralad, you know, this we are speaking. Balir, Vayas, all we are counting. So how you can say that Sasanga is not all, Sasanga is all in all. They got all. Come on, it's rare, Pralatma speaking, that how it was possible for you to put your lotus feet on the head of my grandson. You see, nobody, even Sankar, Brahma, everybody, oh Prabhu, you, you saw your lotus feet, are low, you saw your lotus Even you can take darshan. So, so our Rupa Goswami was writing Kirtan, na? Krishna Deva Bhavantam Bande, Hari Deva Bhavantam Bande, Jadya Pisamadi Su Vidura Pipashati, Natabana Kagramari Chim. This rock. Nobody can get the chance to see the light coming from your lotus feet. The how to speak. What is the luck of Bali Maharaj that Baman Dev is going to put his lotus feet on the head, on the head, on the head of, on the head of Bali Maharaj? Can you estimate the luck of Bali Maharaj? Can you understand? But a luck, Bhagavan is going to put the lotus feet on his head. Oh my God! So. Brisho Parva, I already told, by the association of the Rishi Muni, he was abandoned, I mean thrown in the forest by mother, so by the association, so by the association of Rishi Muni, he developed Bhakti association, is a more. Abalir and Bana, Ban is the son of Bali Maharaj, Ban. Follow, grand grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Bali Maharaj got the association of Shankar Bhagavan, about whom I already recited you study. Nimnaganam Jatha Ganga Devanam Achyuto Jatha Vaishnavanam Jatha Sambhu Purananam Tidam Bhagavad. So, by the association of Shankar Bhagavan, he is a great devotee. Ban got bhakti. First of all, Ban was very puffed up. Finally, he was given punishment to cut all his hands. Thousands of hands. His demon. So much energy, na? The demon, they have so much energy. But where to spend this energy? Like Hiranyaka, you can find, go through Bhagavatam. Hiranyaka always going in here and there. I am feeling so much power here, nobody I find to fight, how I can spend my energy. So I like to fight with you. He's speaking to water god. Oh, water god or air god. Bala, going to approach. Oh, I heard you are very powerful. I have so many energy, where to spend? I like to fight with you. Oh, no, no, I am not so powerful like you. You can go and search. As some matching personality with him, you can fight. He is speaking. Sometimes going to where to spend energy. They are very powerful. They are going to feast. Going to provide a feast on hills and you know, and making dust particle. Doom! One, one big, big hills. Damn! Because they, 
Like those who are judo, karate, they are diving, huh? they are putting one, you know, hanging, one thing. Uh, they are practicing. Doom, dam, doom, dam. <laughs> they are practicing. <laughs> when, who can attack me, so I am going to waste my energy. When, who can attack me, there is no security. So I am learning, who, ha, who, ha, whole day and night, <laughs> giving energy. Are, when, who can attack? Eh? If he is going to shoot you, what you can do? Foolish. Wastage of energy. Why not you do bhajan, hari bhajan? So this way, Ban was very popped up. Finally, he was giving punishment to cut all hands. Only four hands were left. Then he, his, you know, level come down, energy level. Otherwise, he was so powerful. Boom, now I'm fighting. <laughs> now all hands, like banana tree, catch, 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 all cut it, all cut. And after that, four hand left, then now it's a more or less okay. Now after defeated by Bhagavan, he uh, is now to, going to express some humble attitude. So Ban also, it was the credit of Mahadev Sankar, Guru. So this way, and my Dhanab, my is Dhanab, he is also Dhanab. My Dhanab, my Dhanab, is a Dhanab, Dhanab mean demon. My Dhanab is a dangerous personality. I know something about him from different Puran and you know, Sangita. Oh my God! Moi is so dangerous. But that Moi has some speciality, is a very good technician. Follow. Even Vishwakarma cannot be compared with Moi. Vishwakarma is a builder, anything, very, very technical man. But Mahidama is going to exceed the quality of Vishwakarma. Even Vishwakarma cannot. This Vishwakarma, this Daroka Puri, Daroka, you know, Daroka, within overnight it was created by Brahma. Overnight created. Follow. You can imagine. So powerful. So now, he was requested to help Pancho Pandav to build their palace. Follow. Indra Prastha. So, Maidana was agreed. Okay, I can help. So, in course of helping Pancho Pandav, I mean, he was the uh, engineer of that uh, very nice he is making the technology in such a way that if you walk inside the palace, somewhere you can, there is water. Oh, you can, water is there, but not actual water. This was the fallacy, fallacy our, our Durjodhan. Durjodhan was uh, feeling insulted because when he was uh, going through the palace, there is no water. He is going to put, oh, there is water. And where there is water, he thought there was no water. Why should I put? Then, doom! Fall down into water. <laughs> and all women there, they are laughing. That was, he was feeling insulted. So nice technology. Why are they are so nice technology? So, in course of his, this construction, in course of his, this, his construction, he got the association of Pancha Pandav, Yudhishthir Maharaj, being Arjuna. They are devotees. They are you know, great Vaishnavas. So, uh, so Maya got the association. Bibishan got the association of Hanumanji Maharaj, Sugriv, in course of searching Sita Devi here and there. You know, they got. So, Vibhishana, Sugriva also got the association of Lakshmanji Maharaj. When Lakshmanji Maharaj searching, as he, wa he was busy to find a clue of the abduction of Sita Devi. He was searching the clue where? In course of his searching, he met with Sugriva. Hanumanji Maharaj also got the association of, you know, of, you know, Sugriva. So, they all this way, 
Hanumanji Maharaj, Nikhyo, Nikhyo means uh, that, you know, Jambuban, also get the association of Sadhu, I mean, Vaishnavas. This way, also Gajo, Gajo means Gajendra, this elephant. Gajendra got the association of Naraji Maharaj, I, uh, uh, no, he is uh, called, uh, that Rishi, uh, what is called, uh, mm, called? Augusta Muni or Augusta Muni or I forget. Ah, uh, yeah, Augusta Muni. He got the association of Rishi there, got mantra also, this Gajo, okay. This way, Vyad also got the association of Naraji Maharaj. Kubja also got the association of Sadhu, previous life also, he got the association. And those who are gopis, gopo, jagga patni, jagga patni is all, they got the association of one Malini. Malini means the one lady, uh, some ladies, they are doing, they are collecting flowers and making garland, going to Mathura to give, to lead their life. They got their, because they are great devotees. Jagapatni got their association this way. All they change their life this way. All of them, they were successful to get my lotus feet. But one point very sure, they never gone through Ved Vedanta Upanishad, never. They never worshipped any exalted personalities, Sadhu Guru Vishnu. They never took any vow, brato. They never gone for astuity and finances. Only by Satsanga, they all were successful to reach me. So, Udhav Satsanga is so powerful that I cannot speak you all in details. So, I can discuss again in details and then go to the next chapter next day. So, today I am going to stop here. Our discussion time is over. Excuse me. Naishang Mati Stavadhuru Kramangrin Sprishyatya Narathap Gamo Jadartu Mahiyasam Padarajo Visekam Niskinchananam Nabrinito Yabat Vancha Kalpadur Vasekapa Sindhu Bhavaja Patitanang Pavarim Bhavishna Bhyo Namo Namo What you can do? Huh? <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल दाय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल दाय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल दाय गौर हरि बोल वाचकल्प दोष